Hi, everybody. Reese Davis with you, bringing you the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 pregame show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Very little is agreed upon universally in college football. But outside of the SEC, there's one thing that the rest of the nation has learned to detest. The chant of SEC, SEC. Usually that's because another team from that conference has won a national championship. A great showdown in the SEC is coming up. Thanks for joining us here on the NCAA College Football pregame show. Now let's send it out to Brad and Kirk for all the action. We'll see you at the half. stadiums in the south and also one of the loudest. Commonwealth Stadium is on a campus of the University of Kentucky here in Lexington. Let's head down to the coin sauce now. It's brought to you by Coke Zero. Real Coca-Cola taste at zero calories. Enjoy everything. Both teams are on the field, and we're just about ready to open things up. And there's the opening kick of the season. From the seven, tackle at the 18-yard line. The quarterback leads the team out on the field for the first drive. run and he's brought down that'll bring up second and three it's second down three to go ball on their own 25 he rifles it and a nice catch there before he stepped out of bounds I credit the quarterback on that pass. He made a great read and delivered a very nice pass for the first down. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball in their own 47. Takes it up the middle for a nice run. Throws this one out to the left. Oh, great catch. Tackle at the 27 yard line. First down. First and ten, ball on the 27. Gains his way to the 16-yard line. Great job here converting and keeping this defense on the field. They're getting very tired. it out to maybe the 13-yard line. Second down and seven coming up here. Ball on the 13. He's on the run, and he's going to be sacked. This quarterback has to do a better job of avoiding the rush, because sacks can be real drive killers. From the 14-yard line, third down. Ah! 
Fires incomplete. And there wasn't anyone in the vicinity. I think the ball just slipped out on him. South Carolina is looking to go up by three. The kick is up. And it hits the upright. No good. Let's check in with Reese Davis in the studio. The Sooners come into this one ranked 13th. Back and forth, these two teams go, neither one giving an inch. We could be headed to a photo finish. The Sooners are out front, 3 0. Thanks, Reese. No score in this one. Now the offense gets ready to take their first crack at it. Throws and it's incomplete. Pretty good effort here by the quarterback of trying to squeeze that ball into a tight spot. Yeah, I know it was incomplete, but he didn't have too many other options. Second down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 20. Incomplete, trying to get it to his receiver. Thompson's intended receiver on the play. That'll make it fourth and ten. Mason is waiting for the snap. Tackle made at the 43-yard line. I don't think either team has a clear advantage so far. Let's see if they can make some plays and get a little separation. He makes his way to about the 32. There's nothing more effective that a team can do offensively than to pound the ball right at the defense, trying to wear them down. From the 32-yard line, first down. Fires out to his wideout. Tackle made right around the 16-yard line. Guys, I really like what the offensive coordinator is doing here. Throwing it on first and second down will keep the defense guessing. First down, 10 to go. Ball on the 16-yard line. They need to find a way to get points this trip in the red zone. Complete. He's got room. Huge play, and it's going to be first and goal. Harris makes the tackle at the three-yard line. That makes it first. It's first down. They're inside the five. Defense stacked in tight here. Here we go. It's on a move. Touchdown. Great job of finding the space to run and just bursting in for six. And he adds the extra point. So that's a five-play, 43-yard drive, and they get it in for seven. Brad, I thought the offense did a really nice job of mixing up the play calling on that drive. I thought the defense was on its heels most of the drive because of the versatility of the offense. He's to the 20. Gets to about the 27-yard line. You never like to have to play from behind, but a deficit this manageable shouldn't be in the front of their minds. They just need to go out there and play. They come out on an empty backfield. Now he's scrambling. And he tackles him hard at the 38-yard line. It's always a snap decision when you decide to tuck it and run. On that play, it was definitely the right move as he got the first down after a nice game. Throws 
throws this one away. Great job by the defense of getting after that quarterback. And right now, I think they've got him with some happy feet. He appears to be a bit rattled. Second down, 10 to go. Ball on their own 38. He's going to try and scramble. Decides to slide. Five wide. Ready. Check. Green 19. Stay on. Green. Stay on. Green 19. Throws complete. He's got room to work. He gets hit out of bounds at the 48. it out oh he had a shot at the pick how did he drop that the defender did everything that he needs to do he read the play perfectly he stepped up and what does he do he drops the interception boy the offense caught a break there here we go and he's taken down right around the 50. two yards that'll bring up third and eight After a quarter of play, we've got a low-scoring defensive battle on our hands. The Gamecocks in front, 7-0. And we're back for more action here in quarter number two. They'll line up with five wide receivers. Now he tries to buy some time. Slides down. Coley gets about four yards on the play. was very well defended with one quarter down I really haven't seen too much separation between these two squads might be neck and neck the whole way South Carolina is up seven Brad I just think this quarterback's got to do a much better job of being able to read that defense and make quicker decisions and especially when the defense starts to get pressure you've got to either get rid of that football or check it down or take off and run with it About the 29 yard line. First down. It's first and 10. Ball on the 29. Throws it out and it falls incomplete. They got lucky on that play. That receiver was wide open, but the quarterback just missed it. the stop right around the 32 yard line a couple maybe three yards on that run from their own 32 yard line it's third down he's scrambling he gets sacked on the play Deep to return. Brought down at the 47. Oh, no. 
There hasn't been too much daylight between these two teams. In games like this, some players try to press too much, and that can cause mistakes. Caught with room to work. He's taken down right around the 42-yard line. Yard line. No gain on the play. play. That, that brings, brings up second and nine. Three down, three down. Hey, check, check back, eleven, check back. Check, check. Green nine. Hammerhead. Green nine. Hammerhead. Brought down at the 14 yard line. Quarterback all by himself in the backfield with five wideouts. Here he goes. Big play there, and now they're looking at first and goal. They come out in a five wide set. You know, Brad, this is one of those plays where the quarterback just wants to apologize to the wide receiver and maybe every other member of this offense. But the wide receiver, if he's smart, will come up to that quarterback, tell him to forget about it, let's move on to the next play. Here's the eighth play of the series. Give to the running back, and he's going to lose yardage. That is a loss of one yard. That brings us to the goal. Can the defense make a stop? Fourth down and goal to go. We're at the one-yard line. They'll spread the field with five wide. Set. Green 95. Green 95. Check, check. 98 Weasel. 98 Weasel. He scrambled. And he's going to run this one in. Touchdown. Will be tied with the extra point. He splits the uprights with the extra point. A nine-play, 53-yard drive, and it results in a touchdown. Brad, I thought that was a textbook drive. I thought they did a really good job of showing balance, mixing the play calling with the run and the pass. Just an overall well-executed touchdown drive. Kentucky to kick this one off. Patrick from the four. And down he goes at the 28. Well, it's always fun to be part of a defensive battle, and that's certainly what we have right now. Yeah, give credit to both of these defenses. I mean, they, they're playing with a lot of energy, and I think they're doing a nice job up front at the line of scrimmage. And at this point, they're not giving this either of these offenses a chance to make a play. You always want to go in the locker room with momentum, so as we get closer to halftime, I think we'll see more and more attempts to create big plays. He fires this one. What a tackle. That was going to be a touchdown. And it's caught. What a great play. This is the timing that we talked about in the pregame that they must have in order to be successful with their passing game. That time, the quarterback threw it to a spot, and his receiver was there to make a nice grab. From the 44-yard line, first down. And 
down he goes at the 34-yard line. They pick up good yardage that time on the pass play. Here they kind of put pressure on the quarterback and challenged him to find the hole in the defense. And in this case, he did. Nice job. He's hit immediately. Nice pickup as they connect on the pass play. But they look to be in sync right now. They're both reading the defense properly, and the result is a nice game. From the 22-yard line, first down. Fires quickly to the tight end. Tackle at the 21-yard line. Nothing going on that play. Well, here I think the quarterback needs to be a little bit more patient in the pocket. That way he can allow his receivers to get downfield a little bit before he throws it. Slings it. That close to being intercepted. Looks like they've decided to go for it here. He zips one over to the right. He almost had it, but it's incomplete. And so now the ball's turned over on downs. Great play there by the D. It's early in the season, but they showed they don't get rattled at all. I give them a lot of credit. So it's time to see this offense go to work again. This defense couldn't stop them from moving the ball and inevitably finding the end zone. Inside give. He makes it to the 28-yard line. That's a game of three on the play. That makes it second and six. From their own 28-yard line. Second down. We played a half of football. We get a tie game at 7-7. Hi, everybody. Glad to have you with us on the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Keith Davis, David Pollock here in the studio as always to lend a little perspective to what just went down in the first 30 minutes. One thing has been apparent in this first half that we just saw. Both defensive coordinators a step ahead of their counterparts on offense. They've had the answer for every formation, every shift, every movement, every motion that they've tried to come up with. So, to try to break free and get something moving on offense, might it be time to show a little trickeration? A little trickeration never hurt nobody. I mean, it's it's something that if you keep doing what you've been doing, you're going to keep getting what you've been getting. And you got to find a way to do something a little bit different because it wasn't working. Let's find some new plays in that book. Let's Let's run a little bit of option. Let's run this reverse. Let's run some double passes. How about we bring a blitz with everybody? Just don't even cover anybody. Just bring everybody. Bring the house. You know, try to do something a little bit out of the ordinary. Try to get a spark going for your ball club. We've done what we can do here at halftime. Time to get you back out to the second half. We'll keep an eye on everything going on in college football. Brad Nestler and Kirk Herbstreit ready with a call. Heading into the third quarter now. Tie ball game as we're set to resume play. He's to the 20. And he's tackled at the 32-yard line. You don't want to squander any possessions, but maybe now's the right time to dip into your bag of tricks a little. Think about some gadget plays to catch the defense napping. He's got it with room to run, and he hits him hard at the 42. Quick 
throw, and he's got his receiver again. Tackle made at the 37-yard line. a two-yard loss. Two yards. Really, they just had nowhere to go that after the catch. So it's second and 13. Ball on the 30-yard line. Got it and brought down immediately. Third down. So it's fourth down, and the offense is still on the field. Slings it. What a play to set him up with a first and goal. They're at the six. It's second down. He's got a touchdown. the PAT. A nine play, 68-yard drive, and they put up seven points. Brad, I thought the key to that drive really had a lot to do with the quarterback and the receivers getting in sync, making it very tough for the defense to slow him down. Sims ready to kick. He's to the 20. They'll bring him down at the 25. Kentucky's the type of team, when you look at them, it looks like their defense sort of just feeds off itself. I think the energy is there, Brad, but I think it really starts up front with their defensive line and their linebackers, the way they're being able to just win the battle at the line of scrimmage. I think it's giving them confidence, and it's allowing them to play more downhill where they can attack this offense. Now he's scrambling. And he's going to be sacked. And for Patterson, he's got two sacks on the day now. From their own 24-yard line. Second down. Catches it, and he's immediately tackled behind the line. They lose three yards there. Pretty good stand there. They weren't fooled at all by the offensive play call. From their own 21-yard line, third down. into the halfback on the screen. He goes out of bounds around the 22-yard line. The defense looks like they're going to send in the cavalry on this one. Looking for the corner. 
He gets hit out of bounds at the 50-yard line. Let's find out if the defense has made any adjustments after giving up a touchdown on that last drive. I love to watch a quarterback when he can really get into sync with his wide receiver. These guys have worked all week on their preparation to attack this defense, and right now it's really paying off. And he just gets rid of it. From midfield, it's second down. They spread the field in the gun with five wide receivers. Takes it left side, and he's brought down in the backfield. Call it a loss of three yards on the way. Third down. Kentucky up seven points. Ready. Throws a bullet. That'll make it fourth down, and they're going to have to punt. The defense held their ground on that play. The quarterback just wasn't able to find any open receivers. McCollum will be the return man. Didn't get all of that one. There's still plenty of time to keep running their offense as usual here. I don't think they need to feel any anxiety about trailing. He might have a chance. He gets to about the 34-yard line. They go with the option and pick up the first down. Yeah, and that was a situation where the quarterback knew he could pick up the first down if he kept it himself. That's a good decision. It's first and 10. Ball on the 34-yard line. Makes the grab and steps out right away. First and ten, ball on the fifty. He makes it out to midfield. A yard, if that, on the quarterback keeper. That makes it second and ten. Man left, man left. Four down, four down. Let's go. Hey, hey, hey. Mike 40, Mike 40. Ready. Screen, screen. Dumps it out left to the running back. And they make the stop around the 48-yard line. Inside the 40. Here we go. Fires incomplete. He was looking for the tight end. He was way out in front on that one. Yeah, there was no chance for the tight end to catch up to that ball there. Carter to punt. Hit hard. <laughs> Through three quarters now, and still the defenses are shining. The Wildcats lead 14 7. Welcome back to the action here as we resume play here in quarter number four. Things aren't tied, but they might as well be. It's this drive that could go. really dictate the tone for the last quarter. Fires out to his wideout, and they get him in the backfield for a loss. That makes it second and ten. Kentucky is up seven. Tosses out to the tailback on the screen. He's knocked out of bounds at the 28-yard line. A 
quarterback in the gun with five receivers. Fires incomplete, and he misses his wide receiver there. Yeah, you're right. This is an area that he's worked so hard to improve since day one. The accuracy of his throws. He's improved, but as you can see, he's upset here with himself. Mason is the punter. He makes it out to midfield. He showed a good burst there. You know this is a real crucial time in the game. It could still go either way. Gets it out quickly. Brought down at the 44. I think he could have taken a risk down the field, but he played it safe instead, and that's one of the keys to winning ball games. They're about four yards away here on second down. It's great when a running attack comes through for the first down like this. It makes an offense so much more versatile. He's taken down at the 22-yard line. That's a game of the on play. First down. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 22. Just throws this one away. The defense got some pressure and forced a bad pass. I think they've been a little bit more aggressive here with their pass rush, and that time it paid off with an incompletion. He's out of bounds at about the 19-yard line. That makes it third and seven. Third and seven coming up here. Ball on the 19. Delivers to the halfback on the screen. And he's tackled at the 12. Young picks him up around seven yards with that catch. Man, that's another first down on this drive. They've looked really good since they came out on the field. You ain't going nowhere. Mike 40, Mike 40. Less than three minutes in the game. Here we go. Tackled after a decent run up the gut. That'll make it second and four. So it's second down now, and they need about four yards to pick up the first. Touchdown, Gamecocks. Unbelievable. That was a big-time example of responding when the pressure's on. Here's the PAT to tie this thing up. He makes the PAT. Let's get an update now. Here's Reese Davis. Reese. Keeping you up to date on what's happening in Berkeley. It felt as if the game rested on every play. The Wildcats get the W, 31-23. All right, thanks, Reese. Rivers has the ball set, and he looks ready to kick this one deep. Taken from the 10. He's out to the 30. He makes it to the 32-yard line. This is when things get a little prickly. You need your playmakers to really come through here. Finds the junior. Tackle at the 43. Quick to the receiver, and it falls incomplete. Second down, 10 to go. Ball on the 43. 
just over two minutes in the game. Gets it, he's in space. He steps out at the 43 yard line. Gets it to his wide receiver, and he's got another one. He wants it all, going long. Makes a catch in the end zone, touchdown. The play clock's at zero. They took too much time. And he tacks on the extra point. So that's a five-play, 67-yard drive. And a touchdown as a result. Brad, how about the guys up front? The offensive line giving the quarterback plenty of time to be able to read the defense and make the right throw. Sims gets set to kick this one away. Patrick fields it at the two. And he's taken down at the 23. South Carolina's been unable to really show that they're the team to beat here. But it looks like they're going to get another chance at it. Well, it's now or never. This team has put themselves in a position where they have to hope for some heroics late. It's because they played sloppy most of the game. They're very fortunate they still have a chance to be able to win this game. Just under two minutes in the game. Throws complete. He's hammered. He's on the run. And now he's got room to run. Slides down. Scrambling around. And he's taken down at the 47. Good for a game of six yards. That'll make it second and four. We're down to just a minute in this game. Quarterback all by himself in the backfield with five wideouts. Quick throw out to the receiver, incomplete. The Gamecocks will use their first time out of the half. From the 45-yard line, first down. He's tackled at about the 33-yard line. The Gamecocks use their second time out. tries to buy some time. Now he's going to run and watch out. Decides to slide. Under a minute left in the game. Wants to throw outside. Oh, he had a shot at the pick. From the 17-yard line. Second down. And they're going to put six DBs on the field to counter that five-receiver look. 
He's going to try and scramble. They bring the quarterback down. He scrambled. The 10. And down he goes at the seven yard line. That makes it first and goal. Scrambling. And they bring him down for a sack on the play. And this one's all but wrapped up with the final score 21 14, Kentucky. And the Gamecocks. For EA Sports and Kirk Herbstreit, this is Brad Nessler saying thanks for tuning in, and we'll see you next time.